Hey, you came back. Today let's unpack the concept of personal branding. You may have noticed what a barren wasteland my YouTube channel is right now. No photography, graphics, logo, music, none of that. I just don't want to do it alone behind the curtain and make a big reveal. Before I dive completely into the process of personal branding, I'd like to discuss what that concept means to me. The first definition we usually learn about is more about the results of branding. The logo, the color palette, some jingle or whatever, stuff like that. And with that in mind, we tend to just get ahead of ourselves and start making whatever shit we think looks cool. But that's usually what fucks us up. Branding, just like art or design or music or photography, it's about communicating. So first we need to figure out what we're trying to say. Should I even bother with personal branding? You might be asking yourself the same thing. Feels like the best way to be authentic is just to be yourself and to make things that you like and just to let it evolve naturally. I really do see the merit in that and it really appeals to me, so let's dig in. Why do we resist this idea of personal branding so much? I mean, isn't personal branding just some marketing bullshit? I don't actually think it's that important that we have some buzzword around it or that we even define it. But I do think it's an important thing to pay attention to. Branding can be really superficial and packaged. It feels like there are more personal brands on social media sometimes than there are actual people. I'm looking at you, Twitter. And on the flip side, people keep their personal brands so clean and perfected that they don't actually ever stand for anything. And you could argue the most amazing people out there don't give two shits about their personal brand. It's the very lack of branding that makes them so genuine to us. But in a way, they still have a personal brand. It just comes more naturally to them. So how can we create a brand and have it be authentic? Well, let's start at the personal level. Who are you as a person? As a professional? What are you trying to say? Who are you trying to say it to? How are you going to know if you're successful? I'd argue that if you don't start out with some kind of meaning, you're just going to add a lot more superficial bullshit to the pile. And the pile's big enough. But personal branding doesn't have to be bullshit. It really depends on how you look at it. Consider these three perspectives. One, your personal brand touches everything. It's so much more than the logo and the colors and the typography. It's every way in which you communicate. It's how you dress. It's the look on your face. It's the way you talk on the phone. It's the way you smell. Every impression that you leave on people could be called your personal brand. Two. Brands are just personalities. We humans love to personify things, to, to categorize every little thing into little buckets of stereotype that we can manage with our brains. We do it with people all the time. And just like people, you get along with certain types more than others. I personally don't have much time for people who are full of shit and just trying to get something out of me. Three, you already have a personal brand. Whether it comes naturally or not, you already have a personality and you already leave impressions on people. So technically, you already have a brand. You just aren't owning it. Or maybe you don't like to call it branding. But the problem is there's often a disconnect between your values and your intentions and the way that you actually communicate and the way that people perceive those. I know this is true for me. It was a realization that started to really shift my perspective. But I like to argue that the process of personal branding can help us be more authentic too. But how can that be possible when brands are so contrived and controlled? Well, first off, the process really helps you explore yourself. Any branding process starts with discovery, with exploration. In the case of personal branding, this can mean learning a lot more about yourself. Trying to be objective about yourself and explore your personal values. Let me share a story. A couple years ago, I took a personality test. Just for fun, I did it with some friends. We had some laughs out of the deal. There may have been drinking and fun. I'm not doing that joke again. There was a lot in the results that I actually identified with, and then there were some things that I thought were kind of off base. Now, it wasn't the test itself that was actually enlightening. It was the responses of my closest friends and my wife. They basically flat out told me I was dead wrong on some of my qualities. For one example, the test said that I was the type of person that was hard to get to know. I thought I was an open book, but apparently not. There were a lot of other results like this, and they all got me thinking. This is when I realized my self-image was way different than what I was projecting to people. It's one of those things that you think you know, but then something happens and you realize it in a way that makes it so much more real. Keeping this in mind while exploring deeper into yourself and your values will give you a more honest and authentic foundation on which to build a personal brand. Which leads me to my second point. 
Personal branding can help us align our message to our values. Once we question our motives, the values, and the image that we portray, we can really start to figure out when we aren't properly communicating that. I know personally that I really value transparency. So when I hear that I'm a closed book from the people that are closest to me, I immediately started looking for ways to put myself out there and share more about who I am. A lot of that led me to where I am today in starting this whole process. I really value modesty and honesty, but what I was actually conveying to people was privacy, secrecy. Now I try more intentionally to strike a balance between those values. And this brings me to the third thing. Personal branding can give you a metric for growing as a person. Once you've explored your personal brand and figured out what values mean the most to you, it becomes much easier to set goals, evaluate your progress, and evolve into something better. Rather than basing all your choices on your biases, and you've got some biases, we'll, we'll get into that. You can base your choices on your values. And since you'll learn so much about yourself in the process, it'll be real easy for you to identify when you're not being yourself. In the end, you can potentially be more authentic and set up better goals for yourself to grow. So where do you start? If you haven't already read it or seen the talk, Simon Sinek's Start With Why was really influential to me in looking at things this way. His concepts really helped me figure out why I felt that way and inspired me to look for ways to make it actually mean something. I'll probably do an episode about it at some time, but for now let me summarize the points that he tried to make. Starting with why means figuring out your values and your goals, why you're doing something, before worrying about what you do or how you do it. Check out his talk, I linked it in the description and hopefully you can get yourself in that mindset and you'll see how it can help. In future videos I'll be sharing my process and some more practical examples as I build up my own branding for this channel. Your brand is your personality, your values, your intentions. But it's also the perception that people have of you and that can really undermine all of that. But it's your purpose, your why, and how well you communicate it and I think that's worth exploring. Might feel fake or shallow, but it really doesn't have to be. It's up to your intentions and your goals. I, for one, am sick of overly contrived, fake ass, bullshit personal brands all over social media. So consider this my attempt to inject some authenticity, even for people who like to totally overanalyze everything like me. So, if branding is everything, does that make it too vague to actually mean anything? Is personal branding just another buzzword to sound smart about? Is this process way too contrived to ever come out with anything authentic? Will this cycle of second guessing myself ever end? Please let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd really like to have a conversation here and not just talk to myself. So I'll be sharing the branding process of this channel, on this channel, as I go through it. And I'm also going to experiment with some different approaches, different topics, even some different video formats. I don't know exactly what this will look like a month or a year from now, but whatever. But if you're interested in figuring it out with me or following along for the ride, you can subscribe to see when I post new videos. Promise I won't get butthurt one day if you decide to unsubscribe and leave me. I mean, you had no idea what you were signing up for. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. Peace.